Hello guys, hello guys. I hope you're all doing well, guys. I'm um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm a world time and two time Mr. 1510, just basic statistics and also star 1610-1501. And also including uh, the math modules, the BMU 1501 and also the QMI 1500. Okay, guys, I'm um, with the basic statistics. Now, here, guys, today we are going to do study six, which is normal distribution. Now with with that means six normal distribution guys um which is for star um fifteen ten and also um star sixteen ten okay guys with the normal distribution we are going to talk about the continuous probability distribution now with the continuous probability distribution we have three types of continuous probability distribution which we have the normal density which is number one number two we have the uniform density then number three we have the exponential density function okay now i'm gonna start with this one okay guys now with the normal density function we are going to use this formula that is when you are talking about the density function where we have the the the, the, the what the, the population mean and also we have the, the population standard division so that is where the negative um the negative infinity less than x this x you can call it the sample mean less than positive infinity hope you understand this part but guys uh normally with the normally with standard six normal distribution um we're going to talk about this we call it the central limit theorem the central limit theorem something like this so this one just the, the basics this one okay um, now let's talk about the uniform density. With the uniform density function, we are talking about the function where maybe we have um, something like the, the, the letter B, any, any value, any letter, you can call it maybe X, Y, but just know that, let's say maybe, let's say if we have something like FX is equal to maybe let's say one over, let's say X minus Y, then it means that it's going to be like this. Um, yeah, it's going to be maybe like um, y less than or equal to x less than or equal to x, something like this. No, yeah, yeah. Let's say maybe here we put maybe let's say b because remember any v um, b we can do like something like this with the uniform density. Remember this one is just the basics. Now let us talk about the exponential density function. When we are talking about the exponential density function, we are talking about um, where f of x is equal to lambda e, and you know that this e you can find on your calculator using Casio, like this one. You can use Casio like this one. You can find it there. This one you can say you can press shift when you press in. You can see it there. I hope you understand. Okay, now, now um after e to the power negative lambda multiplied by x. So where x is greater or equal to zero. It means that your x must be greater or equal to zero. Now, where lambda is our the parameter of the of the, of the distribution, the parameter of the distribution. Go. Okay, guys. Now, guys, um, let us talk about the normal distribution. The normal this one, the normal distribution. Now, with the normal distribution, let us now talk about the characteristics. The characteristics. 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 Um, guys. Now, with the characteristics, um, this form of the distribution is described as bell-shaped. So, now when we are talking about something like a bell-shaped, it means that we are talking about something that is symmetrical. Okay. But yeah, the the important thing here is this one. This one. Mm, now, this one. The values in the normal table. Remember, guys, with this chapter. We are going to use a table, the standard normal distribution table, either for table 2a, table 2b. For table 2a, either maybe it's positive, positive z, and also for table 2, which is negative z. Hope you understand that one. Now, this one, the values in the normal table give the area for the probabilities of the standard normal distribution, which is this one, normal distribution. The one whose mean is equal to what? Mean is equal to zero and standard deviation is equal to one you can call standard deviation standard 
division division is equal to one okay now this implies that all general normal distribution must be standardized so when they say must be standardized it means that that is when you're going to use this formula z is equal to x x minus this one and this one then you must know that here this one this x i will show you when we do the question but this one is just the the, prob the probability value not probability value um you will see when you do it one example okay but then this one that is when you're talking about the mean the mean and this one that is when you're talking about standard deviation this one standard deviation okay um now let us look at before we look at the the the, the, the tables now let us look at only oh, no, maybe one example one example one example on how to 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 calculate this but before I want to I want to explain this part the key points to answer maybe maybe such questions now um let us do this okay let us do this let us do this the negative um with the normal distribution you have to draw before before you start with the, the, the this part you have to draw the normal the normal curve you have to draw the normal curve okay, so you have to draw the normal curve then I want to do this. Come to this one when you're looking at this table. And also remember this part. This part, all of it we call, we, we call it the central limit theorem. The central limit theorem. Now I'm going to show you when you use when do you use this formula. Normally, when you use this formula, it means that you will be given the mean, the standard division, and also you will be given the mean of x. And also, we have this formula. Z is equal to x plus mean over standard deviation into root n. Then guys, for this one, this n, um, this n can be the sample size or the random sample. Either the sample size, okay, is either it can be maybe the sample size or the random sample random sample okay the random sample okay guys now mm, now you have drawn your the, the 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 normal curve then now we you are going to have three rules three rules you don't just use this formula then you calculate z then you go to a table then after a table then you find your probability no we have rules now rule number one when maybe let's say you are z is greater than or your z maybe um, let's do this let's do this let's do this maybe your z is greater than or your z is greater or equal to then here you want to do this after kid after getting maybe your probability you want to say one minus that given probability in the table i will show you when you do maybe a few questions then rule number two, when you have maybe z, um, we do this, sorry guys, let me do this, uh, okay. Rule number two, when we have maybe z is less than, is less than or where z is less than or equal to, then for this one, you don't use one minus, you just take that given probability in the table. Then we have rule number three. Rule number three, when we have negative z that is less than, or equal to z less than or equal to z for this one this is when maybe you have maybe something like um, two values maybe maybe when they say maybe the probability the probability that is maybe between 50 and 60 then you're going to use this method i will show you this method then we have three rules we want to use these three rules then for this part normally when you use this one normally they will we will be given a question like this um the probability when z maybe is greater than one point let's say 1.36 is equal to 0 0.0321 here i'm just giving an example i'm just giving an example then for you to interpret as whether this is uh, for you to interpret as whether 1.36 is equal to 0 0.321 i'm just giving an example then for this one you have to start by drawing a table 
and not in terms of the normal care. So the normal care, the sumai, the normal care, so it's going to be like this. Then, um, let's say here it's 0 0.3021, then here it's maybe 1.36 Z. And if, if maybe here it was maybe, let's say, negative, less than 1.36, then it's going to be on this side. Okay, hope you understand. Now, for this one, you are going to use your table. Now, since maybe you know that maybe um, here you have greater than, then you, you remember that, oh, with the rule number one, that is when that is when you're going to say one minus the given probability. Now, my here's my question. Now, here, this thing, you call it the probability or the area. The probability or your area. So now for this one, we're just going to test us whether 1.36 is equal to 0 0.321. But here I was just giving an example. Then let's say maybe 1.36 is on maybe table two. Let's say maybe table two B. But then on table two B, you will see something like um let me do this. You will see something like this on your table, 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 table. Let's say maybe here, let's give an example on your table, you will see something like Z, then 0 0.00, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, and 0 0.03. Then here, maybe let's say you have for the positive, let's say maybe you have um, let me start with this one because I was just giving it, I'm just giving an example. Let's say 1.3. 1.3. And then 1.3, let's say here, let me put because it's gonna be long, let me do this 0, 0.06. Now guys, when we have um do this. When we have the z that is greater than 1.36. Now, always guys, always always take the last digit the last digit here this number 0 0.00 to 0 0.01 up to 0 0.09 i were last digit so if it's like this then you know that for the z for the z is equal to 1.3 then for for this one because the last digit is six you divide by 100 which is going to be 0 0.06 now when you maybe Let's say maybe for you to prove as whether Z is the, for as whether where Z is greater than 1.36 is equal to 0, 0.0321. Then you know that now you have one Z that is equal to 1.3. Um also you have 0, 0.06. Now you want to do this. Let's say here it's 1.4, 1.5, Yeah. Let's finish. Now we want to do this. We're going to say 1.3, which is Z. Under what? Under 0, 0.06. Now the value that you find here, let's say that that value for EG is 0 0.0321. Then it means that the probability where Z is greater than 1.36, 1.36 is equal to 0 0.0321. But, but guys, but we are not done. Remember. The minute you see that maybe the minute you see that z is greater than or maybe let's say greater or equal to then you know that you're going to use that rule don't forget guys that rule where we say one minus the given probability on that table on that particular table which is that given probability that it's 0, 0,0321 which is going to say one minus 0, 0,0321 then maybe that maybe let's say let me try it first first um one minus zero comma zero three two one which is zero comma nine six seven nine zero comma nine six seven nine so now we conclude now you want to do this very simple interesting guys then the probability where z is greater than one point three six now is equal to zero point nine six seven nine okay now zero which is uh, this one is the final answer the final answer but if maybe let's say um your z let's say they say z is less than 1.36 is equal to maybe the, the property given for this one you, you don't use one minus the given property in that in that particular table you just you, you just go to that particular table 
if maybe that table is maybe table is 2a for, for negative z, let's say for negative 1.3, you just take your probability given there, then you don't, you don't use 1 minus that probability for this one, for this one. If you understand. Now, um, for this type of questions, normally we will be given maybe, they will say maybe, um, which statement, maybe which one of the four statements is incorrect. Then they will give you something like this. The probability where z um, is greater than 1.06 is equal to 0 0.0561. Here I'm just giving an example. Number one and two, the probability where z is less than 1.36 is equal to 0 0.033 and then 33. Then number three, the probability where z may where negative um, no, sorry. For the probability where z, maybe let's say um, for this, for this one, maybe this, um, the probability um, negative zero point five less than z less than zero point three three is equal to zero point zero maybe two two one. And for this one, you still remember when I was explaining this part. So for, for this one, then I will show you. Then okay, for this one, let's say maybe maybe now you can see that. Remember for this one, you use what you call the central limit theorem because for this one you know that it's between maybe maybe for this one well, they, 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 they want their value which is set, but for this one you want to use the central limit theorem. Okay, now for this one you know that it's negative zero point five. You are going to use your table where the z is negative. It's negative. Then you're going to find negative 0 0.5. Let's say here it's negative 0 0.5. But with this one, you have to be careful, guys. Since now we have, um, let me do this. So now we have, we have, um, so now we have negative 0 point, negative 0 point, uh, 0.5. Negative 0 0.5. Because remember, um, when I was explaining this part of this one, um, 1.36, I said your last digit is 6. Which will be you divide it by 100, which is going to be 0 0.06. Now that's your value is there. Now for this one, because now we have negative 0 0.5, let's say, because I'm just giving an example, negative 0 0.5. Now, which is going to be what? Your last digit here is going to be you, the last digit you, you just take it as 0, which is this one, which is 0 0.00, the last digit. 0 0.00. Okay, hope you understand. Now we're going to do this negative 0 0.5 under. 0 comma 0 then you check the value that correspond with negative 0 0.5 maybe let's say if here it's maybe 0 this maybe let's say it's let's just assume that maybe it's 0 comma 0 0 0.053 let's say for negative 0 comma 5 you will see when you do maybe a few examples and then for this one for 0 0.33 let's say 0 0.33 which is your positive is positive let's say maybe we have uh, the table remember you will go to a table where that z corresponds with that particular table let's say for this one you can see that it's 0 0.33 then it means that you're going to use the table of positive z okay for the standard normal standardized normal distribution normal table okay hope you understand now for this one you know that you're going to use the table of positive z which is 0 0.33 let's say for this one now you know that with this one because now it's positive 0 comma 3 3 you know that the last digit is, is, is 3 which is going to be 0 comma 0 3 you are going to uh, you are going to use the, the positive z table which is 0 comma 3 under 0 comma 0 3 let's say maybe for for this one let's say 0 comma 0 2 1 2 which is great which is 4 0 comma 3 3 now i want to explain this part because so far i think for this one as, as i in this one i know that you understand for this one if you don't understand that guys um i will send you my number on that you, on my youtube channel okay for this one then it's going to be the large maybe largest value minus smallest smallest value which is maybe zero comma maybe um zero comma zero two one 
Wazidu kuna maenda, wazidu kuna zero, zero, five, three. Then let's do it. So zero, comma, zero, two, then two minus zero, comma, zero, zero, five, three, which is zero, comma, zero, one, five, nine. This is how you prove S whether mean for this one, for this one. This is how you do it. Okay. So now, guys, um, now let's do, let's do only maybe two questions. Yeah, two questions, two questions. 